In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we'll learn how to model a machined aluminium part, such as this one. And we'll use the revolve to cut the inside. Uh, we'll do some chamfer, some extrude cut for the holes. And at the end, I'll show you how to put ink. Sometimes if you don't have fillet or if you don't have time to round everything, you can just put a tiny contour ink at rendering and it'll make things pop up and hide the sharpness. So file new, part. First thing we should do is make sure we're in centimeters. And I'll start with a top view, sketch, and I'll sketch a center rectangle, this one. this okay I need every side to be equal so we shift click the four edges and we go equal smart dimension and we can go 120 centimeter voila we need to make this 3d feature extrude use 70 centimeters okay perfect so now to do the cutout, I'll choose the right plane, sketch, Control A to be normal too, and we'll start our cutout. So it'll be at the center. We'll do draw a line like this, but come out a little bit. Then L to finish, L to draw again. And I drew something like this for the cutout. And I'll give you the exact dimension in a few seconds. L to finish. This should be vertical, so we go vertical. And smart dimension. So this one I use 32 centimeter, 18, 25. five and 60. This one, we just need it to be a little bit higher so we can just drag it, that's fine. I forgot exactly what I use here, but as long as it's outside, it'll work. And this one I actually forgot, uh, but we'll make a round number, maybe 18. So now that we have the profile, I'm just middle click and drag to orbit. Uh, drawn, we can go revolve cut and we can click here because we want it to revolve around this. Next, we'll draw on this and here I want to extract this contour. So I can go, I can click once, go sketch and there's a tool on the sketch called convert entities. This will extract any line around that face. So we can go like this and then we can use offset. I want both to be construction line and I can click here, here and there. We could uh, when select chain and click once. We don't want to have bidirectional and we want it reverse. This is going to define the center of my circle. So I want them because we're going to cut chamfer here. Uh, I want them pretty pretty and we'll go even maybe 20. Voila. Then we'll go circle, draw one circle, another one. So we want those four circles to be equal. Shift click. Equal. Smart dimension. And I think I was using 12 centimeters. Perfect. Now we want to cut through the solid. Feature extrude cut could go through all. So it would just go through the whole thing. Next, uh, chamfer. So this is 3D, so uh, feature chamfer. And this is 45 degrees, so we just select them here. Middle click to orbit. Maybe even a bit more. 
Next, uh, I did a cutout here with chamfer. So select the face, control eight. Many, many way of doing a quick cutout, but uh, one way will be to use the um, slot, this one. And make sure you're at the center. So track the center. You could draw a center line too and draw like this. And whatever is outside won't be taken in account. So don't worry too much about this. You can still move this afterward and extrude cut just a little bit. Yeah, something like this, even maybe less. Uh, something new here, we can do a taper like that. And I think in the, I went pretty big, maybe 45. You can go in or out. So now we've got this. I think it's a hair too much. If I want to change, I can go back to my cut extrude or to my sketch. And here we could just drag this one to make it a bit wider. And exit the sketch here. That looks better. To repeat this four times, circular pattern the feature first of all around what you pick one of those circle and you want to repeat the feature and it's the cut extrude and we want four of them that's good almost there the last thing I drew I selected this face and I went sketch control 8 took a midpoint line it's like a symmetrical line voila here there's a bug, it looks like you're not straight, but when you click, you're straight. It's been like this for a long time. Line, you draw one line a little bit on an angle. To mirror this, uh, here we might need a center line. Maybe we could have used the pointer actually. Select this line, mirror, mirror about the symmetry line is this one. Voila. Then we can press L and we can close it. And I think I went through the entire thing. So I went extrude cut and through all. Voila. Uh, for the rendering, I'll do quick because I've done a lot of rendering video. But here uh, I went, I usually use this one. I start with this one, double click. That's for the lighting. Find a nice background somewhere here. Here it's orthographic, so we can go perspective to make it look. Here I was using the um, plastic uh, soft touch and I think I was using the white. So you drag and drop. You can set to the entire part. And on a few pieces I used the metal aluminium brushed. So I use it on this face. You see this face? Uh, which I think I use it here. And here we could go chamfer, but I don't have it. So we'll have to go one by one. Render tools. Make sure it's checked under add-ins. Option. And here we do want to use contour. So make sure contour is activated. You'll draw some nice little black line. And then we can go final render or preview first. So you can only see the contour, those black lines, at rendering time. So you cannot see it in the preview. So if you're looking for them in preview, they just won't appear. Et voila. Uh, this is not one-to-one. -one. Now you have the scale to one-to-one -to -one here. And you could save this and maybe go in Photoshop, color correct it a little bit. And that's how I did this. Voila.